to Evo specifically. Yeah, we actually got some of the other pro license guys like Double, like Hakayo, Batsu. Yeah. I mean, it's been it's been pretty good so far, but I really appreciate that the Japanese came out like this because this is yeah. the one time we really get to see how their Tekken scene is doing. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I missed the character selections. Alisa for Kobare and Shaheen for Q. Yeah, Q, I believe, is from SoCal as well. These guys uh, have been coming out to Wednesday Night Fights here and there. One of the guys that we always go like, man, there are new faces at Wednesday Night Fights still? Tekken 7? This is crazy. Yeah, didn't you guys like break 50-something recently? Yeah, the last Wednesday Night Fights we had in SoCal before uh, EVO was at 50-plus players. And yeah. this was one of them right here. Yeah. So Cobra, ooh, that new destruction stance chainsaw move right at the start. Ooh, Cobra. Yeah, you she need, wants to brawl. <laughs> you need get up there. Does a ton of damage, actually. You have to be wary about it. Yeah. Using that destruction stance. I used to see, like, basically the only Elisa that would bring out destruction stance a lot, well, I remember, would be um, uh, Chanel. And yeah. now all of the Elisas are starting to use it more in Tekken 7 as the game has developed. Yeah, the way that Cobra is actually going into it, down for 1 plus 2 is so strong, right? It's hard yeah. to deal with, safe on block, and then you know, Nice pickup. Yeah, nice pick up here. Ooh, gets the slide. What's the Oki? What's the 4? 3 plus 4. Okay, yeah, he, he fell down to reduce damage, but the second hit of down forward 1 4 finds its mark. And that was a quick two rounds. Yeah. I thought that was still the first round. <laughs> Elisa does big, do quite a bit of damage, actually. For being a, like, a, a character that's supposed to be fundamental Tekken, she hurts. Yeah. Uh, with Q trying to find his footing in this third round. Yeah. Trying to go for that high splat was just a little bit too far. Ooh, Ooh that back three plus four. Dynamic range. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Gets hit out of destruction stance. Doesn't pick up the combo. Q, the no. And the rage art. It doesn't hit. And Kobare is able to take the first game. And Q shaking his head. He messed up that combo. That was yeah. a, quite likely a kill situation that would have got him that third round. But draw. Cobra, pat in her chest. Man, that was very, very stressful for her. Evo, Evo is such a stressful tournament for so many players. It, it's Everybody wants to do well. I mean, a lot of it, even even guys like uh, like just people who show up to locals. This is sort of their one chance to sort of get a litmus test of how far they've gone in the year, right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these guys put a lot of weight on their shoulders in that regard as well. Yeah, a lot of people like you know like don't necessarily come to Evo to win. They come to see where they stand in the greater scheme of things. They come like they take that information back home. They try to come be better and come back next year. Yep. But Q trying to fight. He's got the wall messing him up right there. He's got his back to the wall now. Uh, challenge the hop kick, but they trade. Nice rollout from Cobra, oh, and nice. then the homing kick. Round two. Smack him out of there. Takes the first round of this second game, but the hop kick to start it off. Yeah, with punish that standing four that Cobra used to try to challenge at the beginning of the round. I think the beginning of the round is such an interesting gambit. You see so many different players play the same way, different ways. Obviously, the most normal thing is like both players back up. Yeah. But then you see both players sometimes swing at each other right at the start. Oh, trades with the down forward two in the favor of Cobra. This, pro this won't hit the wall, but, but right next to it. Ooh! Gets hit out of the blue stance. All right, now we got the combo finishing. Let's go, Q. Finally, takes his first round. Hopefully, that's a bit of a confidence booster. Sometimes you just need that a little bit to tell you that you can do it. Oh, nice sidestep, the only, the only whiff punish of a down 4-4. Four, four. Nice block. Ooh, late on that get punish. The punish. Ooh, Ooh, got hit with the end of that. At least it's not that much damage, though. Takes some solace in that, but he is in rage. Able to make that comeback if he gets the launch. Yeah, and in destruction stance like this, Elisa actually loses a lot of her movement options. Unable to run it down. Ooh, school! <laughs> he gets the dive in afterwards. Cobra at that point. She was like teasing him, like, do you really want to fight me, bro? I got chainsaws for arms, and he went in. No, no, no. How do you approach your lady with chainsaws, man? This is really difficult. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh nice the dodge. Yeah, this character, she basically turns into a Gundam, and when she gets into this stance, pulls out of it, though, Cobra, looking for that last hit that she needs. 
right, blocks the rage drive this time. But Cobra on easy street right now. Just needs one little hit. On the down oh. two in the destruction stance, takes it. She's so happy she won. Look how cute she is. So happy that she won. Even even going for that the cheeky the behind the back hit with the kick. Yeah. I was like, you're gonna be happy. You want like, oh yeah, I did it. And you're gonna go for cheeky moves like that. All right, calm down now. Yeah, showing yeah, off you, what you Elisa. You can't fool me. Yeah. Good showing for the Elisa. Showing off.